Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. We talk about a love story. A love story which saves two people, one Jewish, one Polish, from the 30s in Watch. And it is the main story of a movie called I'll Find You. And with me in the studio is Bożena Intrator, who herself treats this movie as a baby. <laughs> I would say, and uh, you are responsible for making it all kind of work and to be out there. And after so many years of uh, of trying to make this project see the world, you eventually have the success and it's out, out there. And as I understand, the movie is right now not in the movie theaters, but you have the moment of bringing them to the festivals. What yes. have you been so far with it? Well, uh, the festivals are not showing films that were already in distribution. So the first step is to show it in uh, in festivals, especially if you are getting invitations, because we don't go to festivals just because we want to go. We go only to the festivals that invite us. You know. And since this film is, is kind of unique, because uh -huh. uh, also looking at the co-producer, I mean, co-producing and actors which are international, uh, I would say Americans, Australians, British, but also Polish, and the director of Marta Coolidge. Yes. Who, how did she approach <coughs> the topic? How did, how did she manage also to invite her to the project? Well, Marta Coolidge, uh, well, Fred. Fred, uh, who is, you know, we were three main producers, John, who financed the film, and then me and Fred that we invited to work with us and then uh, actually John's son Lucas Roczyński became like one with his father you know so he was like the one producer the two of them uh, additional producer but Fred uh, is known for you know not only for producing films and uh, received Oscars his films actually were nominated over 100 times to Oscar that's but <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> don't know if experience. anybody else has so many. I mean, the films that he was involved in had so many nominations. But uh, basically, he uh, works uh, very closely with the Coppola's, uh, and uh, since he does that. Marta Coolidge also, you know, uh, there was like a stable. Couple has had this young directors always supporting the young directors. Even now they have the company that was working with us on that film called um, Directors Bureau. And they have young uh, directors and supporting young directors. So Marta Coolidge was, when she was very young, she was uh, supported by Francis Coppola and she directed films that were very, very welcomed in the States and they became hits and it was like The Valley Girl where Nicolas Cage had his uh, debut in the main part. She directed Real Genius where Val Kilmer had his first main part ever played by him and uh, so since she was uh, in touch with Fred. And how did she stuff. approach the topic because uh, I would say probably a lot of people before uh, tried to sell uh, the, even the, the topic of Poland before the war but you managed to get it Real, well, uh, because Fred really liked the screenplay. He doesn't like many screenplays and many people are approaching him and I heard from very famous directors, even here, that tried to have Fred being involved in the projects and he was not. But this, he really loved the story and he loved the screenplay and he really wanted to be a part of it. And uh, because of him, uh, we had access to many people and one of the people was Martha. He felt we were discussing all kinds of directors and we felt uh, he is one of the very few, perhaps, producers who really like working with women, which is not very often the case in Hollywood.
kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but here there yeah, women it's is the It's changing, you know. And so he asked us if we we would consider a woman, and we said, yeah, sure. I felt it's really great, you know, to have a woman director. When we came to the moment where that Marta came to our production. We had many, many fights, you know, uh, over the screenplay, you know, but not real fights. Uh, I think this is all about respect. When we were working with David Ward and with Marta, because, you know, he was doing a rewrite of my screenplay, my version, uh, he didn't, uh, he needed to cut things out, but he didn't change characters. I mean, they were still my characters. He added, but this was all a lot of discussing and talking with Marta and with him before we started the shoot, you know? Because if, I understand it's not so easy to put, I mean, all of your imagination, which probably was the, in the first screen, or draft of the uh, screenplay, and then to put it real out there and make it working in the movie because uh, you you need I mean so much effort in order to build the characters every single thing a car a school a violin it needs to be from those well, times. It costs money and, and costs. every minute costs money and so every everything you have has to be really then adjusted. The first draft needs to be adjusted to the budget. And that is what and Marta... And just to ask, what, what was the budget, if you can tell us, of course? Final budget will be including the, the promotion. promotion, you know. And right now we are not in the cinemas yet. We were only in the festivals and the cinemas, uh, we don't know what will happen because of COVID. We were planned to start uh, our distribution in August, but we didn't because the, the cinemas are closed and all the films are waiting. All the big films from big studios are still waiting to... To get out there. Yeah, because... Uh, people, people are not so yeah, eager to go to the cinemas, yeah, of course. And we don't know what's going to happen because right now uh, COVID is back, you know. Many more people are sick again and we don't know. Oh, it's, I would say it's shake hope. a little bit the, yeah. the film industry. Especially that there were no productions during the COVID yes, shooting. Yes, yes, many, many people. But we have a finished film that is really good. And it's really good for us that we didn't start the distribution before the shutdown, because uh, then we would be already like an old film at that. And, and now moment, that yes. we just being invited to festivals and before our distribution, so we are in a pretty good shape. And if you would like oh. just to say a few words uh, for a person who it's not sure to go to the cinema to watch it. Why to see another movie about war? What it, why is it special and different? The difference is that this is, uh, the war is just the background. And the most important thing in our film is love. Love between people, but also love for music and for a beautiful, beautiful city of woods that used to be a very special place in Europe. I would say that all citizens of Łódź has to see this movie to see how their city looked back then in the 30s of 20th century. But it also is a huge promotion of Poland out there in the world. And I do hope that this movie will be a spark for another production and that international audience will just simply fall in love with Poland. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.